Hello there and welcome to SNMB Academy. Today in this presentation I'll be showing you how to solve quadratics using the quadratic formula. Now it's quite simple to be honest. We use the quadratic formula, that's here, when we cannot find the x values using the normal factorization method. So the normal factorization method will be we will first, you know, um, find out what my a value is. So a equals to 1, we know that. B equals to 3, my C equals to minus 5. So two numbers that multiply to give me a number, that would be A multiplied by C, that's 1 times a minus 5, minus 5. And two numbers that will add to give me a number would be 3, so that's B. So what I'm doing is basically just finding the factors of 5. So I'm finding the factors of 5. So 1 and 5. So these two numbers need to multiply to give me a 5 and add to give me a 3, which obviously is not happening. And these are the only two factors of 5. So in this instance, we cannot solve this equation using the factorization method. So what we do is we use an equation known as the quadratic formula. Now in front of you here, we have the formula presented where you say x equals to minus b plus minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, each of this letter here represents the terms in the equation. So a, b, and c. So all we have to do is just plug them in. Now, there's a lot. Uh, the best way, to be honest, is because we are plugging this in into the calculator, we, we, we first put the brackets around the letters, so it's a lot easier for us. We don't actually realize it, but the brackets is a great, you know, it's a great, uh, you can say, blessing, to be honest, that we have in order for us to solve the equation. Now, we can do it, we can first write it down as x equals to all over minus b plus minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so 2 and bracket a now what i've done in over here is i've just put down the brackets in place of the letters and that is just for us to to make it easier for us to just plug in the numbers and another reason for that is because we have sometimes numbers as negatives and it's to differentiate you know and to clarify the negative numbers apart from the negative operations now to a minus b, so here is b, what's my b? 3, I'll put that in as 3, plus minus b squared, I'm looking for b again, so b is 3, put my 3 in, minus 4, in this bracket is my a, look at my a, that's 1, that's 1, and then c, c is minus 5, so I will put it in minus 5, and then all over to a. My a value is 1. Put my 1 in. So this makes it very easy for us because once we have all the numbers written down, all we need to do then is just copy this equation as it is and type in, in the calculator. And that's obviously the scientific calculator. And the, how you would do that is you'll put the fraction sign first and put in all the top numbers and then go down and put the uh, put the denominator so now in this uh, in this by writing this formula we are ending up with two x values one x value would be when you have the equation with an addition sign and then you will get a value and then you go back to the equation you delete the addition sign and you put the subtraction sign and you will find an another value now so two values that we get in is Let's just put the x, uh, sorry, the addition sign first. When we put the addition sign first, we get our x as 1.19, obviously to two decimal places, or you can also get the answer in three significant figures. So x equals to 1.19, or, or you can have x equals to. Now the second value of x would be, then you go back to the equation in the in the formula in your calculator and uh, you take away the addition sign and put the subtraction sign and that you will get the value of minus 4.19 and there you are you have your two values of x's so very simple 
Now let's just try another equation. Okay, so now let's just write the formula first. So the formula, obviously, it's better if you remember the formula minus b plus minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, first let's just realize our value. So a equals to, let's just write it, a equals to 3. We have b equals to minus 6. And lastly, c equals to minus 3. And we're just going to plug these values in the formula. So let's just have minus b. So let's add the brackets first, plus minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now all we're doing is just adding our uh, numbers inside the brackets. So we have minus b. My b is minus 6. So it's minus 6. You see, at this point, a lot of people will get confused if they didn't add the brackets. They would just write minus 6 and forget about this operative minus here. Whereas this minus makes a minus and minus plus 6. So brackets will make it a lot easier for us to understand that. And b here, again, minus 6. That's minus 6. Minus 4. A. A is 3. 3. And then C, C is minus 3, minus 3, all over 2A, A is equal to 3, put your 3. So we have all our values inside, and that will give us two values of X's. So X equals to, let's just put our plus first in the calculator, and we will get the answer as 2.41. Or, if you put minus into the calculator, then you will get x equals to minus 0 0.41 and there we have the two values of x's so very nice and simple the only thing is we have to make sure we add our brackets and plug in the numbers correctly and there we are we have the answer don't like don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you very much